What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Before this video starts, I just want to say that I'm sorry for the YouTube delay. I'm going to start posting on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I love you guys. Enjoy this video. Alright, what is up guys? So, I've not made a YouTube video in a little while. Hopefully you guys can hear me, it's like really windy out. But, as you can see, I'm in a tank top in Ohio. I think it's like 60 degrees out today. So, new TLF tanks came in a couple days ago. Stringers, open in the back, super cool. Um, Instagram Q&A up the other day, and I just got way too many questions, way more than I thought. So I was like, hey, let's just do an Instagram Q&A. Question that I get asked nonstop is a hair routine. So I made one on Instagram, if you guys didn't see it, I'm gonna put it up on here because I got like that question like 30 times. Also, I have curly hair, so, well, I more have wavy hair, actually, I'm gonna take that back. I have wavier hair, not really too curly, more wavy, so, like, in the middle. So, if you guys do not have curly, wavy hair, your guys' hair might not do that. Toots, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ooh, that looks kind of good. chest, shoulders, and um, triceps today, so all around push workout. And I'm gonna have a cameraman today, Caden, he's been working out with me. And the last like two YouTube videos, I haven't had a camera person, so I feel like the videos have been kind of dead. I've really been satisfied with the last couple of videos, but kind of disappointed to be honest. So yeah, and I have my GoPro. So yeah, I haven't had my GoPro in a couple weeks either because I left that here. Hey. Hi. So introduce yourself. Yo, my name's Hayden Sherrod. Our last YouTube video got deleted, you know that? Why? I don't know, it got copyrighted. Sorry, keep going. You gotta get that back. No, it's gone. Gone forever. <laughs> my, dude, the footage is gone. So anyway, this is this is your first time ever. First time. So my name's Hayden Sherrod. Got a pretty similar name to the guy behind the camera. What's up? Keep going. But we're about to kill this. All right, what is up, my friends? Okay, so I'm gonna walk you guys through this workout right now. Um, this was a full push day, and my buddy Hayden came. He has a cool name, by the way, but. Um, I worked out with Caden a couple months ago and it was kind of funny, I'm not going to say he was like small, but he like was nowhere near the size that he is now and his strength is just like way up. So yeah, he got there a little late so I did some shoulder press to warm up, now I'm on to incline so he was here with me. And this is my first time touching barbell in a while, I've been doing all dumbbells just because I feel like my physique is way better when I do more bodybuilding control dumbbell movements than when I do barbell, I feel like I always just go for strength and I'm not really using the correct body parts. So yeah, here's Hayden just getting in the zone. And Big Dog had 225 on this, and I was pretty, I was pretty impressed. Not gonna lie, I was not doing that much weight. Not gonna say how much weight I was doing, <laughs> but yeah, Hayden's pretty strong. He did, um, I think he did like three sets of five. I think I did like three sets of 12. I went more reps just trying to get the feel. Then we went on to dumbbells. So I have either 70s or 75s. Um, I was really going for like sets to 8 to 10. It's really windy out here. I hope you guys can hear me. But I really go for like sets of 8 to 10 um, just because I don't feel like I have a good con I, I don't I just don't feel like I get much of a workout when I go super heavy. So yeah, sets 8 to 10 here. I don't know how many I got there. I, I should have been counting. Hopefully you guys counted on that. Maybe I'll put a little number up on the screen. So yeah, I was feeling really good. I was feeling 10. If you guys notice, I have a huge pimple. Not now, but in this video. So yeah, tough. But yeah, here's Hayden um, with the 90s. Homie's just fucking strong. I don't know. Hayden has made a lot of progress in these last couple months. But yeah, check out the new diamond chain, guys. You guys like it? Anyway, all right, here we go. Oh, so this is funny. So, hold on, I need to focus. Back to the workout. So my camera just completely ate shit there. Um, luckily, Hayden was behind it and was fixing it. I was just gonna like put it up, but yeah. Did not hang in, so I think this is one of the last sets. This is when I did start to fatigue a little bit, as you can see. Um, not really sure how many I got on this. I think I got like eight the last set, which I was kind of disappointed in. So yeah, then we went on to triceps, and triceps is one of, if not my best muscle group. So to be honest, I don't train 
um, triceps that much. I know Hayden, Hayden has huge arms so he trains um, biceps, triceps a lot. I personally only train them once a week each. And if I do, it's only like two exercises. So we did a lot of triceps today. So, and I would usually do rope. I wanted to change it up. I did straight bar, so that was cool. Um, yeah, Hayden, of course, did those sets too. And then we went on to um, cable flies. And we actually did um, low cable flies first, which personally, not a big fan of. It was a good change up though. I'm, like, I'm still super sore from this workout. So we did two low, and then we did two high. So here's the two sets of high right here. Really just focusing on good stretches. Um, I have been going heavy on these though, just because I feel like my body was starting to like fatigue a little bit. So yeah, we went pretty heavy on these. And I'm trying to think what we did next. Chest was feeling good. That pimple though was not feeling it. All right, so this is, I don't know if you guys machine has this, but it's a seated um, tricep push down. I personally don't use it a whole lot. I actually haven't used it since I was like, I've been going to this gym since I was like 17 years old and I've maybe only used it five times, which I actually really liked it. But one thing I'll say, if you guys look at me here, you guys can see a little bit that I'm using my chest, which is not good. And I'm also using my shoulders a little bit. So I was trying to like get in my mind to fully focus on my triceps. I even like lowered the weight. I think this was, this might've been the heavier set or the next one might, have, might be the heavier. Okay, now yeah, this one was definitely the heavier set. Yeah. And as you can see, I'm like, my chest is contracting, which is like, which is cool, but I'm trying to focus on my fully triceps on this. So I'm definitely gonna lower the weight on these just because it did not really feel good. I felt it all on basically my chest. I really didn't feel it on my arms. So yeah, ooh, it's a little chilly out here. All right, so we got Hayden here. He, you know, trains triceps a lot, so I really just let him. I pretty much ran the chest workout. He pretty much ran the triceps. And then, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just finished off with some dips. I like dips, I do dips a lot. I think doing body weight stuff is a flex, really cool. So I always, you know, back day, I'm always doing pull-ups, leg day, I'm always doing lunges, always doing that type of stuff. So yeah, that was a workout guys. Now I'm going to get into this Q and A. So I'm gonna answer probably two about the gym, three like personal questions. So someone said, how many hours would you say is a good amount to spend at the gym? I like this question. And recently, like say when I first started working out, I would say like three hours, two hours. And that is not ideal. Personally, I like to be in the gym for an hour, honestly 45 minutes because I've noticed that when my workouts are fast and tense, I'm way more sore the next day. My muscles are actually broken down compared to like when I'm sitting around like talking to my friends stuff like, this is your favorite music slash artist. So right now I'm actually really vibing with Chase Atlantic. If you guys know him, if you guys don't know him, definitely look him up. Well, as you tanned, any advice for someone interested in starting? So what I would do, I would say um, go slow, start with like five minutes add up just a little bit because the last thing you want to do is get super burnt and then just not want to tan ever again and if you're tanning more for like aesthetics more for look definitely do it because i promise it literally like lowers your body fat like two percent start five minutes level up a couple minutes every time until your body gets to a point to where it can go like 10 to 12 minutes i think like your like tanning place you will go to will probably only be like 12 minutes max, 14 minutes max. Would you ever want to try acting? Yes, that's actually kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, I'm with an agency right now. More modeling right now, but hopefully in this next year I'll be getting more into acting. Um, commercials will probably be like my first type of step that I do. Um, so yeah, more modeling right now, but yes, I do want to get into acting. That'd be really fun. That's like an ultimate goal for me. The hardest area in your body to tone slash shred. <sighs> that's kind of a hard answer. So I'm going to say definitely my back. I'll pull up a picture right now. Back was just non-existent. Um, I guess you could say tone, but just no muscle mass. Um, and I think just, I think I've said this in like many videos when I used to train back, I would be basically pulling with like all my arms and not my back. So I'm sure a lot of you guys do that. Back is one thing that's really hard to like get that mind muscle connection with. So yeah, definitely like my hardest. Use product for your curls or are they natural? Um, my curls are natural, but I do use product just so they're not as crazy. So like right now, as you can see, my hair is kind of like 
I don't know, like not too insane. So basically, if I didn't put product in it, my hair would be like everywhere. I'd basically have like an afro. So yeah, that Rosio, however you say it, that's like my main product that I use. I feel like I like I'm able to like crunch my curls down to where I don't have an afro walking around. So if I don't use that, literally at the gym or anything, my hair will be like all frizzy afro-y like out to here. All right, someone said, when did you decide not to play basketball anymore? So I finished my basketball season last year of March. I knew in my mind that I didn't want to play basketball anymore kind of during that year. Um, just because my fitness stuff started taking off and I knew that basketball was going to end. I knew with fitness, modeling, and like acting and stuff like that, that I could actually do something with it. And ultimately, I just love it. I love working out. Like two years ago, if you asked me to like stand in front of a camera and try to talk or try to pose or doing that stuff, I would have been so awkward. I couldn't even smile. I like, felt so uncomfortable. So I think like this past year getting so comfortable in front of the camera, like showing up to like shoot, say with Blue Star, with TLF and just like naturally being able to like have fun with it. Like I think that was kind of like the kind of my mind when I knew like I need to do this. Like this is what I love. I'm happy doing this. I'm a lot happier person now that I'm not playing basketball anymore. That sounds bad. I love basketball, but now I'm, I'm actually happy being able to like motivate you guys actually post content and actually do what I love. So yeah, I guess it would kind of say like my sophomore year in college is when I knew that I don't want to play basketball anymore. What's your favorite kicks to work out in bro? Nike Blazers. If you do not have Nike Blazers, go get you Nike Blazers. I have white ones right now and I'm actually like on the search. I can't find them. I'm trying to find baby blue ones. But yeah, we're going to find them or we're just going to customize them. But yeah, Nike Blazers, especially on leg day. As an athlete, do you drink alcohol or smoke? So. I've played basketball all my life. I guess I've done like fitness and bodybuilding since like my junior year. Never, definitely weed, all that stuff, never been into that. I've never touched a drug, never really will touch a drug. It's just not for me. No judgment against people that do it. That's just not for me. You know, I've been around a lot of, you know, my friends in high school and, you know, athlete friends that have done that stuff. Personally, that's just never really been for me. And then drinking, I'm 21, so really I didn't start drinking until honestly a couple months ago. But I like to think of it like in moderation, so I'll really only drink on like special occasions. So say I'm going out with my friends or, you know, me and, you know, Jacob Shalvey or some of my buddies are going to the bar. Like, yeah, we'll have a drink, but I'm not really into like getting absolutely like slaughtered. I think in moderation is cool. Like, I like to have fun. I like to, you know, make memories with my friends. So, yeah, definitely no drugs, though. That's just not for me. Um way too focused on my shit to be messing around with any of that but yeah all right guys we're gonna end off with this one it says what was the biggest motivation that led you not to give up you guys and my family um it's kind of crazy i'm sure a lot of you guys like go through this too but there's a lot of times where this like sounds crazy because i know you see social media social media is fake but there's like many times where you know i doubt myself i don't really fully believe myself sometimes like my mom for example always believes in me you guys always believe in me, so I think it's kind of like crazy to think that, you know, I've built the following that I have, built the support system that I have that like fully believe in me, or I give them motivation, or, you know, I make people's day better, something like that. So I think just knowing that I have a platform, I have people on here that, you know, look forward to my posts or see my posts and makes that day better, I think that's really like the biggest reason why I decided not to give up. Um, God's plan, it's already written. Um, everyone has a plan follow your plan trust in God end of today's video so what I'm going to be doing is I need to get on a YouTube schedule because I really enjoy filming for YouTube so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do Wednesdays and Saturdays are my two YouTube days so I'm gonna be grinding out content I'm like fully focused on like growing my YouTube so yeah there's no more playing around anymore Wednesdays this video is dropping Wednesday and then I'm filming a day in the life on like Wednesday and that, that'll be out Saturday so yes thank you guys for all the support if you guys want any of my links TLF Olipop Blue Star that's in the bio online coaching I do have a few spots open for this month so definitely run to that if you guys are interested in that I'm working with just like five people a month to mind body chase after your dreams accomplish your body so yeah whatever goals you have in mind I'm willing to help so yeah also my apps in that link just just go to that link I got all my stuff in there so that's okay but anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Drop a like and comment. Appreciate all the support. I love you guys, and we will see you guys on Saturday.